Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to be exploring what if there was a black Deadpool. And I'm not talking about the brief appearance of Afro Pool, who basically just had one picture and one panel, and we don't really know if he was black, white, or whatever. He could have had a Bob Ross thing going on with his hair. So, in this video, let's look into Bro Pool, who's making his first appearance right now. Now, his real name is Dwayne Lucephus Wilson, and he's a human mutate that stands six feet two inches tall and weighs 210 pounds, just like Wade Wilson Deadpool. However, Dwayne has brown eyes and a big brown afro, which, by the way, tends to turn red whenever he's accessing it as a pocket dimension. Nevertheless, he has all of the basic abilities of a Deadpool, flaunting an advanced healing factor, relatively low-level superhuman strength and durability, along with considerable moderate superhuman speed, reflexes, and agility, which all come in handy when he's battling foes as a master martial artist and weapons master. And since he's from Southern California, he's also multilingual, not only being fluent in English, but also Spanish. And one unique thing about Bropool is that his afro actually functions as a pocket dimension, with him being able to store a myriad of gadgets, weapons, and other items deep within it. However, although Dwayne has all of these powerful attributes, he also has some of the weaknesses of the original Deadpool. And although Dwayne does not have cancer similar to Wade, he does carry some of his other weaknesses mainly having an unpredictable mental state and being extremely annoying due to his extreme ADHD. So yeah, that almost comes standard with any Deadpool. Now, Dwayne Wilson, AKA Bropool, AKA the Afro Assassin, hails from the vibrant streets of Compton, California. Born and raised in this iconic neighborhood, Dwayne grew up amidst a blend of West Coast hip hop culture, street smart survival tactics, and a healthy dose of dark humor. His upbringing was anything but ordinary, with his mother being a sharp tongued beautician who could cut you with her words faster than her scissors, and his father being a smooth talking hustler with a knack for getting into trouble. Both of them instilled in Dwayne a unique blend of resilience and irreverence. Now, his childhood was filled with the usual neighborhood antics, dodging bullets, sneaking into house parties, and learning to perfect the art of yo mama jokes. But it wasn't until he hit his teenage years that his life took a turn towards the extraordinary. After a freak accident involving a wayward experimental energy blast, courtesy of some reckless mad scientist trying to create the ultimate super thug, Dwayne found himself with a peculiar set of abilities. And this energy blast didn't just enhance his physical prowess, it triggered a mutation in his hair follicles. And this made Dwayne's already impressive afro morph into something truly unique. As I mentioned earlier, it became a pocket dimension of sorts, capable of holding an infinite amount of gadgets, weapons, and even snacks. This afro, as stylish as it was functional, would soon become his trademark and pretty soon he would become the Afro Assassin because Dwayne's new abilities didn't go unnoticed. Before long, he was approached by a shadowy government organization with a penchant for using quote unquote, expendable assets in dangerous missions. So seeing an opportunity to get paid and cause some chaos, Dwayne agreed to their terms, adopting the code name Bropool. Now, as the bro pool, Dwayne became infamous in the underworld for his unpredictability and unconventional methods. Picture this, a battle-hardened mercenary donning a sleek red and black suit, wielding an arsenal of weapons pulled straight out of his afro, everything from nunchucks to rocket launchers, and even a fully functional boom box that blasts old school rap during combat. His afro itself, now a legendary part of his persona, became a source of fear and bewilderment for his enemies. You see, it wasn't just a hairstyle, it was a force to be reckoned with. Dwayne's missions often took him to the seediest corners of the world, but he always brought a piece of Compton with him. Whether it was cracking jokes about his adversary's fashion choices, dropping clever one-liners about the latest West Coast trends, or blasting his enemies with some of Dr. Dre's finest beats, Dwayne ensured that every mission was as entertaining as it was deadly. 
we can clearly see that Dwayne is a unique blend of street smarts, charm, and over-the-top bravado. His humor is as sharp as the blades hidden in his fro, and he's never one to back down from a challenge. While some might find his constant quips and wisecracks annoying, Dwayne sees it as a way to keep things interesting. After all, what's the point of being a superpowered assassin if you can't have a little fun with it? Now, I have to also note that his sense of fashion is equally distinctive. Besides his iconic suit, Dwayne loves to accessorize with plenty of gold chains, oversized rings, and several custom-made sneakers that are as flashy as they are functional. And let's not forget the fro, always perfectly puffed and always ready to unleash a surprise. Now, Dwayne's adventures themselves are as wild and unpredictable as he is. In one memorable mission, he infiltrated a high-tech fortress by posing as a janitor, complete with a mop stored in his afro. And when things got heated and spilled over into the streets, he pulled out a flamethrower disguised as a boom mic and set the place ablaze, all while rapping the lyrics to nothing but a G thing, baby. But in another escapade, he faced off against a rival assassin known as the Mullet. Their battle took place in the heart of Compton, with both combatants pulling increasingly ridiculous weapons on each other. However, this fight would end with Dwayne launching a miniaturized lowrider, yes, from his afro, that knocked the Mullet out cold. So as you can see, if Dwayne Wilson existed, he would have already become a legend in his own right. A hero to some and a nightmare to others. Additionally though, despite the chaos he brings, he's always had a soft spot for the underdog. And he's not afraid to stand up for the little guy, especially if it means getting into a good fight or getting some good chimichangas in the process. So whether he's taking down corrupt politicians, battling mutant gangsters, or just enjoying the day off in Compton, Dwayne does it all with style, swagger, and a whole lot of laughter. So I'd like to propose this. In the world of Marvel Comics, Dwayne Wilson would stand out as a larger-than-life character whose afro is as iconic as his sense of humor. And while he might not be the hero Compton asked for, he's certainly the one they got. Afro, attitude, and all. Now, for his proposed powers and abilities and his potential influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Bropool whatever rating you want to give him. Because he doesn't really exist, I'll let you do it. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Have a nice day, and I'll talk to you next time.